we're trying to get the virtual setup set up. So just stay tuned. Maybe the holodeck will fill in with some interesting things before long. Oh, hey, I think our holodeck is short circuiting here. So maybe, maybe not. Uh, it hopefully will take us to the far reaches of the universe. Oh, that looks a little bit better. Oh, that looks a lot better. Oh, that's closer to home. That's our solar system. Hey, solar system is exactly where we need to be because we're in solar system astronomy here. Oh, now we're at the planet Earth. Here we go. There we are, different day, different time. Here we are, planet Earth. Ivy Tech Community College on planet Earth. So I hope that you are all prepared for a good semester. You know, we've already had our first week. We're well into the second week. I had different Zoom sessions. Many of you showed up for those. And as I said during those Zoom sessions, we don't have a set lecture for that. So that's really a question and answer kind of time. Uh, not a lot of questions that were up for discussion, mostly just getting to know each other. Uh, so I appreciate that very much. I don't want to put any of you in jeopardy during this semester. So just do your best as we're going along. And I will hopefully see you in the discussion boards. And every now and then I will host a Zoom session that you can come to if you want to or not. When we have a Zoom session, please remember that we have basic etiquette that we should be following. Uh, make sure that you don't have too much background noise going on in the Zoom session. Also make sure that you remember I can see you. <laughs> so, so make sure everything is copacetic. Oh, hey, that's a good one there. Uh, looks like the NBC Peacock has exploded. It's also a good one for Pride Month if you're celebrating Pride Month. So congratulations for that. Sometimes the universe joins in for that. This is called a planetary nebula, which has nothing to do with planets, which is something that sometimes happens in astronomy. What is being talked about has virtually nothing to do with the way it sounds. Uh, so we have to get used to that. We have some things that are far out and we have some things that are pretty stunning and spectacular when we have lots of things that are old and lots of things that are changing. Uh, but by and large, if we're enterprising, we will make sure, see that is, there's a joke, haha, -ha. uh, there's a joke for you. Um, we, we, we will get to where we need to be. I hope you find this class fairly attractive. Uh, I've always enjoyed it rather uh, a lot. Uh, sometimes it can leave you wondering, where is everybody? Where have I ended up? Uh, sometimes you might feel like you're in a house on fire, but otherwise just keep going like the little engine that could and we'll get through it. Uh, I hope that all of you are noticing something about the way I'm presenting this video. Uh, I have been a stand-up comic at different times in my life. Uh, so I hope that this is not uh, <laughs> uh, sort of sort of too far out for you. Uh, but uh, if I'm making a joke, if, I, if it sounds like it's supposed to be a joke, I'm probably making a joke. So uh, just just roll with it, just go with it. Uh, hopefully it won't won't be too much of an issue. I'm here to help you. We all need a little help every now and then. Uh, uh, one of the things that I try to do is I try to be accessible, I try to be open, and uh, one of the things I want to encourage you to do is email me when you have problems. I will do my level best to get back to you. Uh, as you can see, I have a green screen, uh, but uh, one of the things that we will sometimes do is we will help each other out. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, me. <laughs> so yeah, there are all sorts of things that will be happening during our We're going to go to the far reaches of the universe and then come back home and we'll study things on Earth. We'll study things on other planets. We'll study comets and asteroids and meteors and the sun and the moon and moons around other planets and rings and basic scientific principles and basic theories and history about astronomy. So I hope you'll enjoy all of these different things as we go along. Uh, but uh, really, 
Uh, I don't have too, too much that I want to say. We, we do have various things that we'll go through. And I think one of the things that is important to remember is that this is intended for you to learn the basics of astronomy, but also just to learn a little bit more about how to learn and how to do things in the universe, because the universe is where you're going to be living for the rest of your life. And I am too. So, so I welcome you to solar system astronomy. I am Kurt Messick. To uh, reinforce that, I have, as you've already learned, some celebrities who are friends of mine, and they have joined in. So what's my name again? Kurt. Kurt, Mr. Messick. Kurt Messick. Mr. Messick. Your teacher, Kurt Messick. Mr. Messick's. Mr. Messick. Kurt Messick's. Kurt. It sounds weird when I say it like that. Kurt Messick's. Kurt. I hope that's how I'm pronouncing your last name right, Kurt. Kurt Messick. Hi, Kurt. I beamed in at Professor Messick's request. Uh, Mr. Messick uh, wanted me to stop by. Professor Kurt Messick. Hi, Kurt. Mr. Messick. And a wonderful teacher like Kurt Messick. Kurt Messick's. Kurt Messick. Your Professor Kurt Messick. Uh, Kurt Messick. Mr. Kurt Messick. Kurt Messick. A teacher. Mr. Messick. Your Professor Kurt Messick. Professor Kurt Messick? That is singular. You're, that, Kurt, you're that Kurt. I, I, I'm that Kurt. Your wonderful teacher, Kurt Messick or Mr. Messick. Hello, Kurt. Hey, students. Listen, Kurt's a great guy. Uh, you're uh, a lovely uh, teacher, uh, Mr. Messick. I call him Kurt because uh, that's his name. Kurt Messick. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Does he let you call you Kurt or do you, you call him Mr. K? You call him Mr. Messick or F Mr. M? I don't know. I know some teachers don't want to get personal with their students, so they just call me Mr. Messick. Kurt! Professor Kurt Messick. Hello, Mr. Messick's class. Keep studying with Kurt. I really have nothing else to say, Kurt. Professor Kurt Messick is going to save us all, and he's starting with you guys. Thanks, Kurt, and thanks to everybody. Resistance is futile. Okay, you're going to see some videos here and there throughout the semester. You can see a whole slate of them, all, maybe maybe a whole raft, maybe that's the better word, a whole raft of them, uh, at my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel also has uh, videos for each of our chapters that we're going through. Many years ago, well, I won't say many years ago, a couple of years ago, I did videos for this when we first went virtual, and uh, we, I have, have set them up on my YouTube channel so that you can go back and watch them, so we have those available. And one of the things I will encourage you to do is look at them, and uh, if you find them useful, like it, and uh, if you want to keep up on what I'm doing on my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe and comment on all of those. It, it, I don't get any money from any of it. If we ever do monetize the channel, it's going to go for scholarships, but I don't really look for that to happen at the moment. Uh, but you can also see all the different celebrities who have stopped by and said things to my classes or other groups at Ivy Tech or just other groups in general. But I will be posting those up in the announcements. One of the things you might notice, several of these backgrounds, including the one that is behind me right now, is from a country called Iceland. I go to Iceland uh, quite frequently. Uh, and uh, there, there are a couple of different reasons why, geologically and astronomically, but also because it's just a great place. And I will show you a little bit about that right now. So you can see a little bit about why I am 
intrigued with Iceland. I've been going there since I was three or four years old. I enjoy my time there. I have a lot of friends there and I may retire there. Uh, it's a great little place to be. Uh, some of the different images like this is on the south coast of Iceland. Uh, this is on what's called the Black Sand Beach. Uh, this is a volcanic kind of uh, construct geologically. So, so what's happening here is also happening in the Pacific. This, of course, being in the North Atlantic, uh, when they filmed the film Flags of Our Fathers uh, about the Marines taking Iwo Jima, they filmed it here because the geology is very similar to that place, even though it is literally half a world away. It is literally on the other side of the world and, and uh, different latitude and everything. But we still have those same kinds of processes. That's what's important about astronomy. What we learn about Mars, what we learn about the uh, uh, atmospheres of Venus or the uh, volcanic activity on Mars or the big storms that are on Jupiter or anything else like that, we can apply that knowledge back here on Earth. And that just helps us understand our own home a little bit better. In addition to figuring out when we're going to go to Venus, probably not anytime soon, You'll find out why if you don't know already. And when we're going to go to Mars, which is in fact on the cards, hopefully within your lifetime, maybe even within mine. Just depends on how fast everyone gets everything together. I was expecting moon-based cities by now. And when I was a child in the 1970s, we had science fiction movies and television shows that talked about us living on the moon by now. I want my moon base. I want my jetpack. I want all of the things they promised me before. They never said anything about these cell phones, but they said a lot about moon cities and, and jetpacks and all sorts of other kinds of things. I would trade my cell phone in a minute if I could live on the moon and have a jetpack. But that's me. Plus, I suspect Wi Fi isn't all that great on the moon, at least not yet. Uh, but, yep. Yeah, this is it. This is what we're doing this semester. I'm glad you're joining me. Uh, I have actually five classes that I'm teaching. Uh, three of them are Astronomy 101s, like you're in here. Another is Astronomy 102, which is Stellar and Galactic Astronomy. So you can sign up for that. It's a Learn Anywhere class, so you can still do it online virtually if you can't make it here to the campus on Bloomington where I am and that would be just fine. So if you find astronomy intriguing and you need an extra science credit, uh, please consider doing that. We don't use the mastering astronomy thing in that course. If you want me to do a Zoom session with you and go through any of that stuff, uh, let's find a time. Again, send me an email, send me a message, and we'll try and figure out a time because I do Zoom quite a bit and I would be happy to help. So until then, I hope you have a good rest of the semester. Uh, I hope that everything works out for you in this class and whatever other class you might be uh, uh, taking this semester. And again, I hope that you will consider taking my 102 class. See you later.